and it's the dedication to getting just the right sound that made tonight's story subject so interesting. He has no PhD, but he has the doctor of amps, the self-dubbed Dr. Z in our area. He makes these amps that emit a sound that musicians, now believe me here, musicians around the world are eager to stop and listen to him. That's all ears. That means just like someone who could taste or smell or, you know, whatever, whatever keen senses someone might have. And yours is? Hearing, I guess. Keep on me, baby. Because when rock and country megastars need their guitars to sound great, they call on the Maple Heights man who for decades now has been pumping out A-grade amplifiers under the name Dr. Z Amps. <laughs> A staff of 15 American workers make by hand about 2,000 amps a year out of here and send them to every corner of the globe, from Australia to China to South Africa to the stages that entertain millions. Here's probably one of my best uh, guys, is Joe Walsh. <laughs> I, you know, I'm like an expected father, too, when I go to these shows. Is something going to break? You know, something going to happen? What happened to this son of a TV engineer was a lifelong love of tinkering with wires and tubes and a love for music. What he doesn't love these days, though, may be the most striking. He does not want to see his company grow. And I don't want to grow bigger and bigger. You because, don't? No, I don't. I mean, I've got 15 employees now, and believe me, it's difficult at times. So his current set of customers keep calling, some like you and I, others like some country music superstars keep him going and knowing that the amps with the Z's on them, like, freeze it, like the one there behind Brad Paisley, those amps and the sounds that come from them will outlive even Dr. Z. My stuff's gonna last 40 or 50 years. I'm gonna be long dead and this stuff's still gonna be there. So, in the words of his good friend Joe Walsh, for Dr. Z, life, well, life's been... I guess I had a little bit of something to do with the culture that I lived in, and being able to affect that. Kind of makes me feel really good. I, I don't know, I can't really express it in words. Really a neat guy. Yeah. 15, and it, I'll tell you, it's striking. We go to a lot of places to do these stories, and you don't see a lot of people making things by hand anymore. Mm -hmm. Those are oftentimes exported out to China and India or Mexico. Right. So that really jumped out at me. Uh, but a really interesting sound that they have. They've been tinkering with it for decades down there in Maple Heights. So keep doing what you're doing, Dr. Z. And he sits through every concert and worries that it's going to break. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, it's like the people Everybody. who bought, built this TV back here. They watch yeah. our newscast. Yeah. Like, is it going to blow out tonight? Yeah.